Man Hunt. The clue of the red thread that led to Man Hunt. No crime has been committed yet. No murder has been done yet. No manhunt has begun yet. Getting ready to take a bath, Mike? Duke! Honest, Duke, I wasn't going to testify against you. I only told that to the cops to get them to go easy on me. You ain't going to testify, Mike. I'm going to make sure of that. What are you going to do, Duke? I'm going to see that you get your bath, Mike. Only first I'm going to bang your head against the tub like you had an accident. You, you can't do that. They'll know it's you, Duke. They'll pin it on you for sure. Not the way I got it figured out. Your number's up, Mike. Right now. <laughs> You've got it figured out to look like an accident, haven't you, Duke? All figured out. Who will discover it wasn't an accident? Who will know it was cold-blooded murder? Who will start the manhunt? Manhunt and the clue of the red thread. Yes, I sent for you and Pat Drew, and for a very good reason. At your service, Sergeant. At your service, Sergeant, he says. Listen, Drew, you don't like it here in your laboratory at headquarters, do you? Mm -hmm. You're always snooping around murder cases, you and your secretary, aren't you? Well, you know why that is, Bill. Sometimes I can pick up things at the scene of a crime that can trace a murderer. And he's done it too, Bill. And he's done it too, Bill, she says. Sure he has. But there is such a thing as just a plain, everyday, accidental death, see? And that's why I sent for you. To show you one. Now, come with me. Okay. Where are we going? I'll tell you on the way. Just a couple of blocks from here. Ready? I'm ready. Who asked you? Oh. You ready, Drew? Yes, yeah, sure. But I don't get it. I'll explain that, too. Now, come on. I see a guy was getting ready to take a bath. Uh -huh. He slipped on a hunk of soap, banged his head on the tub and slipped into the water unconscious. He drowned. You get that? Yes, of course. Okay. He fell in his bathtub. Right. Now, I'm going to prove to you two that this is one death that had to be accidental. It couldn't have been murder. Uh -huh. Anything been touched, Bill? Anything been touched, he says. No, nothing. Come on, get in the car. Slide in, Pat. Okay. I'll get in the other way. Go ahead, Drew. Check. Crowded, Pat? I'll let you know better when Bill gets in. Uh, Bill's in. Well, anyhow, that's the picture. The guy dead in the top. Death by drowning, the doc says. A lump on his forehead and a piece of soap that caused it all on the floor. Uh-huh. Who was he, Bill? I knew you'd get around to that. His name was Mike Mallory. Oh, the fellow was going to testify against Duke Britton? Oh, I bet Duke bumped him off to shut him up. I knew one of you would pop out with that. Now, listen. Mike lived in a boarding house next block from here. If he had opened his mouth to yell, a dozen people would have heard him. Did they? Did they, she says. No, nobody heard him. Because he didn't yell, that's why. Because he wasn't murdered. What makes you so sure it was accidental, Bill? I know it was an accident, see? And that's why I brought you here. To show you that just because a suspicious guy gets knocked off doesn't mean it was murder. You catch on? Here we are. Come on, hop out. This is it, huh? I'll help you, Pat. May I have your hand? Oh, Drew, this is so sudden. How did you too? Uh, uh, tell me, what makes you so sure it was an accident, Bill? You still haven't told me. Okay. You see, the bathtub overflowed, and the water started trickling through from under the door. Mm -hmm. A woman saw it, tried the door, and she found it locked. Somebody could have killed Mike Mallory and then locked him in. Come on. I'll show you why it couldn't be that way. Oh, hi, Murphy. Here is Sergeant Morton. Bathroom straight ahead, sir. Yes, thanks. Now, there's the bathroom door. Busted in, see? Mm -hmm. The cop did that when the woman screamed. The key is still in the lock on the inside, see? And the lock is still turned. But what's more, look up here. Mm -hmm. See this hook? 
Yes, well, they've got those in a lot of old-style bathroom doors. I've seen them on screen doors, too. Seen them on screen doors, she says. Who cares? Anyway, you know how they work. You close the door, then drop the hook through the eye that fits it. But you've got to do it from the inside, see? Yeah, I suppose so. All right. So when the cop breaks in, he finds the hook dangling from the door still through the eye. Mm. When he busted the door in, he tore the eye part from the wood. Now, look for yourself. I am looking. Yes, that's right, all right. I'd be willing to bet the hook was in its place and the lock turned when the cop broke the door in. All right. Now, that's all I got to tell you. Except nobody living could get through that little window up there. Now, seeing that nobody could have been in here to kill Mallory, are you convinced it was an accident? I am. Well, I probably am, too, but it's an awful coincidence that this has to happen just before Duke Britton's trial. Coincidence, he says. So it was a coincidence. Who cares? Are you convinced is what I want to know. Well, to tell you the truth, Bill, I'm not. Hmm. Then what's this? These little ashes on the floor. Who knows? So Mike was smoking before he slipped. What's the difference? I don't know. I'll just put these ashes in this envelope and take a look at them at the lab. There. What are you smiling about, Drew? Nothing. Just thinking. Wouldn't it be funny if because of these ashes, Duke Britton burned in the electric chair? Drew, you've had your eye in that microscope for an hour. I'm getting a little tired of sitting here watching you. Patience, my dear. You're certainly trying mine. Have you or haven't you found out anything? I found out something, but I don't know what it means yet. I know it made the ash we found in that bathroom. Is it a secret? No. It was a piece of red thread. Oh. Look, I'm going up to see Duke Britton. Am I going? Oh, yes, you're going. Oh. You stay here. Oh. Duke's tough, Pat. No kidding. He'd just as soon kill you as kiss you. Who? Who's scared? <laughs> you are, baby. That's right. Drew, take care of yourself when you're tracing that red thread, will you? I will, Pat. And I've got a hunch that Duke Britton's life is hanging by that same thread. You're Drew Stevens of the police department, hmm? Mm-hmm. Homicide? No, but I'm on the Mike Mallory case. Too bad about his accident. Yeah. Yeah, I know how you mean that. Too bad. All right, so I'm not sorry. I came to see you, Duke, about a piece of thread. A what? A piece of thread. Red thread. Would you know anything about a piece of red thread? Of course not. What am I, a tailor? No. No, you're a murderer, Duke, and I'm going to prove it. You left fingerprints on the thread you burned. I couldn't have. They were burned with the thread. Uh Uh-oh. Don't move, copper. Hmm? I think this is a trick, but i got to be sure. Well, you want to be a little careful with that gun, Duke. I'm not going to bump you yet. I've got to find out if what you say is possible first. And if it ain't, I'll come back and apologize. If it is, you can bring back burned fingerprints. I'm going to let you have it. Hmm. What I'm supposed to hope is that I'm mistaken, is that it? It'd be awful good for you if you are. Put your hands in the back of that chair. i got to tie you up. Got some ropes somewhere here. There we are. On your hands and back of this chair. You know, you really don't have to bother, Duke. I'll wait here till you get back. Yeah, I know. Now, your feet. I'll tell you now, it's no use trying that movie trick you get into the phone unless you think you can dial it with your nose. On second thought, this gag won't be a bad idea. I'll just stick the phone in this drawer. There. Don't go away, will you now? I'll be back in 15 minutes. So long. I'll have a gag out in a second. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm shaking like a leaf. There. All right, now, get to work on my hands. Uh Why don't you tell me what you're doing here, Pat? I wanted to beat you out on the case just once. I got here just before you did and hid behind the drape. Uh Not so toughy. Mm. There. That's got it. Okay. I'll get my legs out myself. There. Well, what now? Oh, I'm glad this is only a one-room apartment. Pat, we've got about 12 minutes to turn this joint inside out. And if we're lucky, we're going to find a little spool of bright red thread. All right, 
So I brought Duke Britton with me, and we're back in the bathroom. This is the cleanest case. I'm going to show you how he murdered Mike Mallory, Bill. Yes, we sure are. Well, that's right, Bill. Without Pat, I couldn't have done it. Much obliged, lady. Listen, Morton, both of them are nuts. Shut up, Duke. Go ahead, Drew. Okay, Bill. Now, here's what happened in here. Yeah? Duke hit Mallory's head against the bathtub, mm-hmm. threw a piece of soap on the floor, and tossed Mike's body in the tub. Then he tied a piece of thread around the hook on the door, like I'm doing now, passed it through the eye hole, like this, then pulled the thread under the door and went out. All right, now, come on out, everybody. Okay, but I don't know what this is all about. Uh, all right, now, time. look. Then he closed the door. Now he was all set. He took these very thin pliers, like the ones they use on a piano to get narrow spaces. My pliers he has to use. Yes, they're yours. I found them in your apartment. Wasn't I lucky? Yeah, you ought to play cribbage. Cribbage, he says. Come on, Drew, you're going to show us. The key is on the inside of the door right now. Right. It was then Duke inserted the pliers in the keyhole from the outside like this and turned the key. Simple, isn't it? Hmm. Now about the thread I tied around the hook when we were all in the bathroom. You'll notice it leads under the door. Now, I'm going to bend down and gently pull it. There. Now, listen. You hear that? The hook has been guided into place right in the hole in which it belongs. Yeah, but we didn't find a thread tied around the hook. And if Duke had yanked on it to break it off afterward, the knot would have stayed on, Drew. Yeah, sure it would. But he didn't break it off. This is what he did. I'm going to light this match and apply it to the bottom of the thread... And the flame, which we can't see anymore, is traveling right up the inside of the bathroom door and is destroying the thread. But it is leaving an ash on the floor. Right. That's how I was able to reconstruct the whole case. From that ash and later from the spool of red thread I found in your apartment, Duke. And oh, by the way, there's no way to bring back fingerprints on a burnt thread. Now he tells me. Come on, Duke. Say, Drew... I'm so ashamed I insisted that the Mallory death was accidental. I could kill myself. Only I'm afraid if I did, you'd find some way of proving somebody murdered me. 